Uh, I'm Ben Mossman. I'm a mine engineer. I've worked at eight underground producing mines. What's that spell? What's that spell? Ben Mossman's already in trouble in Canada. He does not have a good reputation. Banks Island Gold is British Columbia's newest gold producer. It's been developing the yellow giant gold property on Banks Island in British Columbia. Honorable Speaker, in March and June of 2015, Banks Island Gold did not report that it had two separate tailing spills and numerous serious health and safety infractions. That mine was closed, it was closed, and it's still closed, and it will never reopen, Honorable Speaker. There's still a mess at that mine. That hasn't been cleaned up. Well, I mean, it's a little island out in the middle of the ocean. And nobody's there except sea wolves, right? But, uh, gosh, again, like, where's, where's the government? No, he's going to do that in your backyard. This project's all private land, and in California, the counties are the entities that run land rights for private lands. We'll call this special meeting to order March 24th, 2022. At 9.30 a.m., we will begin with a salute to the flag. You're not dealing with California State. You're dealing with the counties. In this case, it's Nevada County. I'm Ralph Silberstein, president of CEA Foundation. CEA stands for Community Environmental Advocates. I was a member of the Grass Valley Planning Commission for six years and Parks and Recreation Commission for two. I'm a biologist with a Master of Science, and I'm the director of Gold Country Avian Studies. I hold a doctoral degree in organizational psychology with a special interest in behavioral economics and the psychology of decision making. I'm a 21 year resident of Grass Valley and a retired aerospace engineer with a master's degree in systems analysis and electrical engineering. I'm a biologist with a master's in biology. I'm a retired educator with a BS in biology and a master's in renewable resources. For exploration drilling there's no permits required at all. It's an allowed use. So we can drill on our land with no permits required at all, and we have done that uh, for over a year now. So is Ben Mossman doing the same thing he did on Banks Island, just ignoring the rules, hoping they go away? Today, I am raising the concern about Rise Gold misrepresenting public support for the mine. Imagine my surprise when my husband and I saw our names listed as supporters of the mine, as people who had sent in emails supporting the mine. Our names were forged electronically. Right now, we're on the Rice Gold property, which is right behind my house. There was a biological report, and the biologist said that they did not observe any deer. I bought a game camera, and I started setting it up back here in the forest. And over the course of a year, we found all kinds of stuff. Why would we trust Ben Mossman, who is facing 29 charges in Canada after filing bankruptcy on his last gold mining adventure and leaving behind a toxic disaster? If you let Ben Mossman into your, your area, you're asking for trouble. Your children and sons and daughters are going to work at that mine. You better make sure that every day before they go to work, you give them a big hug and kiss. It might be the last time you see them.